it is normal for our blood sugar levels to increase after a meal. This is what a normal versus abnormal blood sugar response to a meal looks like. Yes, it is completely normal for our blood sugar levels to increase after a meal. We don't actually want a flat and steady blood glucose level. We just want to avoid our blood sugar levels increasing too much and staying high for too long. We can do that by making sure we're not short of any of the nutrients that are important for glucose metabolism and insulin sensitivity and consuming balanced meals, meals that contain protein, fat, and carbohydrates within the accepted macronutrient distribution ranges, 10 to 35% of calories from protein, 20 to 35% of calories from fat, but no more than 10% of calories from saturated fat, and 45 to 65% of our calories from carbohydrates, but no more than 25% of our calories from sugars, and no more than 10% of our calories from added sugars and making sure that we hit that recommended dietary allowance for fiber, which is 14 grams of daily fiber per 1,000 calories per day. So if you eat a 2,000 calorie per day diet, that means aiming for 28 grams of fiber per day. In addition, lifestyle factors can have a bigger impact on insulin sensitivity than diet factors, including not getting enough sleep, living a sedentary lifestyle, and having high levels of stress. For example, a 2007 study showed that just five days of bed rest in healthy adults caused a 67% increase in insulin secretion after a glucose challenge test. A 2025 meta-analysis showed that routinely getting less than seven hours of sleep per night increases the risk of developing type 2 diabetes by 18% compared to just getting between seven and eight hours of sleep per night. Getting poor sleep increases the risk by 50%. Chronic stress is hard to quantify in scientific studies. But for example, this 2009 study showed that women with high stress jobs had nearly double the risk of developing type 2 diabetes compared to women with low stress jobs. Like all dietary components, we want to consume them in a happy medium range. And for carbohydrates, that is scientifically, technically defined as 45 to 65% of calories. And for total sugars, that is scientifically, technically defined as no more than 25% of total calories. 